Hey guys, today we are going to start a new series that is Azure Key Vault. Now in this video, we will discuss what is Azure Key Vault and how to use it. But guys, most importantly, we will discuss why we should use Azure Key Vault. And when we are discussing why we should use Azure Key Vault, we will also discuss key versus secret. So guys, Azure Key Vault, it is used to securely store our keys, secrets and certificates. So I know guys, you must have heard this definition many times. So in this video, let's try to understand the meaning of this definition and let's also try to understand why you should use Azure Key Vault. Now let's first discuss the secrets in Azure Key Vault. Okay. So in simple words, consider secret as our connection string to connect to our SQL database or to connect to our Azure storage account. And now let's try to understand how storing secrets can help us with this example. So guys, let's assume we have this web app. So it may be ASP.NET Core web app or ASP.NET MVC web app and it connects to this SQL DB. So that means the backend database is this SQL DB. So obviously we will store the connection string in this web app right and we will store it in app config files. So it may be app settings.json or web.config right. See guys now the problem is let's say this is the user. So this user he has access to app config settings for this web app. See that means this user he can read the connection string from this app setting or from this web.config file. And when we use Azure keyword, basically what we do is, let's say this is our keyword. So we will store the secrets in this keyword. So we will store this connection string as a secret in this keyword. And this web app it will directly fetch the connection string from this key vault so that means though this user he has an access to app config settings for this web app so of course he can see other details from this app config settings but he cannot see the connection string because this connection string it is fetched from this key vault behind the scene so basically what we do is we provide the required permission for this web app. See guys, this web app, it is some service or some application. So we provide the required permission for this web app to read the secrets from this key vault. So this web app, it has permission to read this connection string, but this user, it does not have the permission. And now you can imagine our secret that is connection is now much more secure. And obviously guys, we will restrict the access to this keyword. I mean, only the authorized user or very few users or very few applications will have an access to this keyword. Okay. So that was about storing secrets in keyword. And now let's try to understand how we can securely store the keys in keyword. So key, it is something which is used for cryptographic operations. That means it can be used to encrypt our disk. Okay. So again, it is for encryption decryption. Okay. Now let's try to understand this example. So let's say we have this on premise server disk and obviously as a good practice, we want to encrypt the data on this disk, right? So for this encryption, we will use some key and we may store this key in some secured file or database right so there may so there might be few people or persons who have an access to this key but guys what if this person deletes this key or he changes this key so he may do it by mistake or maybe intentionally right so again you can guess that is the problem if our key is deleted that means we cannot access this server at all because again the data on this service is, server is encrypted using that key right and again in this case 
we can securely store this key in key one and now let's try to understand that so so let's, let's imagine this is our azure storage account and obviously again we want to encrypt the data in this storage account right and so again we will leave the key for this encryption right so what we can do is we can simply store that key in key vault and this storage account will fetch that key from key vault okay so again you can see guys we have this key in this key vault and now using this key our azure storage account is encrypted right and again we will provide the required permission for this azure storage account see again guys this azure storage account is also some service or application so we will provide the required permission to this azure storage account to access this key but we will not provide permission to this user to access this key and again guys this azure storage account it is fetching this key for encryption behind the scene so it is so it is actually not visible and again we will restrict the access to this azure keyword to very few limited persons or services okay so that's it guys for this video thanks thanks for listening